Hi guys, my name is Bas and welcome to my 11th SPSS tutorial. Uh, I do recommend watching my previous episodes, but you are not uh, obligated to do so because they discuss separate topics. And today we'll look at the independent samples t-test, which means that the sample groups which you are comparing uh, are not related and do not influence each other. So it's not, for example, the same group measured over time, because then it would be a dependent uh, uh, t-test or like a, a, a paired samples t-test. But for now the groups are not related and therefore it is a independent samples t-test. And the hypothesis we're going to be testing is whether men are happier than women. This means that it is a one-sided hypothesis because it has a direction. You're saying that men have a higher satisfaction than women. So how should you measure this? Uh, first you go to analyze, then compare means, and then an independent samples t-test. And you select the test variable, so the dependent variable is satisfaction. And the grouping variable, so the, uh, the groups you're comparing, will be gender, because you want to know whether men have a higher satisfaction than women. So you select it. And then you need to define the groups. So you need to define the variables, uh, uh, the values of this variable. So then you need to go to the variable view and look at the values of gender. And if you then press the triple dot, you can see that the values are a one and a two. Uh, this seems logical, but this is not always the case. So make sure that you check it specifically. Then you have to press define groups and you enter the two values of the variable you're comparing. So in this case, one and a two. Then you press continue, you press paste, you go to your syntax screen, then you select it, you run the code, and you get these two tables. Uh, in the first table, you can see the two means. So you can see that the average, uh, the average mean of males on satisfaction is 6.96, and the mean of females is 6.88. So this means that men have a 0.08 higher satisfaction rate than women. Uh, but we want to know whether this is significant or not, of course, because we're using statistics. Uh, so you go to uh, the independent samples t-test, and at first you look at the significance. Uh, and for now, we'll only look at the equal variances assumed row, uh, because to keep it simple, uh, because we're not using a Levine's test right now. So we're just assuming that they have equal variances. Um, if you look at the significance level, which is two tilt, you'll see that it is 0.000. Uh, because we are actually testing it one-sided, you have to divide this by two. But uh, since it's already zero, even if you divide it by two, it will still be zero. Uh, this is lower than the alpha of 0.05, so therefore you can conclude from this p-value that the effect is significant. So men uh, are significantly happier than women. Uh, you could have also concluded this from the 95% confidence interval, because if you look at the lower and the upper boundary, it's 0.053 and 0.106, and zero is not in this interval. And if the zero is not in this interval, it means that the effect is significant. And besides the p-value and the confidence interval, you could also conclude this from the t-value. Uh, the t-value in this case is 5 point, so this is the observed t-value, is 5.839. Uh, then you need to know the critical t-value, uh, which is yeah, quite often 1.96, but in this case it's not. Uh, I'm not going to explain uh, exactly how you can uh, calculate a critical t-value. Uh, you should look that up in statistics books. But in this case, the critical t-value, it depends on the amount of respondents and uh, whether you're testing one-sided or two-sided. Uh, but in, uh, in this case, is uh, the critical t-value is 1.645. Well, the observed t-value is far higher. It's 5.839. So therefore, you can once again conclude that... Um, the, uh, you can once again conclude that the effect is significant. So men are significantly uh, yeah, more satisfied or happier than women. Okay, so uh, that was it for this uh, tutorial. Next tutorial I'll explain how the uh, paired samples t-test works. If you have any questions, uh, leave a comment down below and see you guys next episode.